Hello everyone, so you're probably wondering when you go to use Cheat Engine on Elden Ring that, hang on, why isn't it working? Why can't I find the values? Well, that is because of a little thing we call Easy Anti-Cheat. <clears throat> now, I really hate Easy Anti-Cheat when I'm trying to hack single player games like Elden Ring because that just makes the process so much more agonising. But today I'm going to show you how you can get past that. So firstly, you're going to need Cheat Engine. <coughs> Jeez, sorry guys. Sorry, uh, I don't recommend using this on any online game, and I do not recommend using this in any online game. Just putting it out there. Um, but yeah, I'll link this in the uh, in the description and you just go download Cheat Engine and you're going to decline everything, all the ad where it throws at you. <coughs> Jeez, um. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to download the Grand Archives cheat table. Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to <coughs> come down here and you're going to download the, the Grand Archives cheat table. Right? <clears throat> so now you've got those two downloaded. Now what we're gonna do is you're going to this team's not opening apparently. Okay, uh weird my steam uh, hang on I think because my internet dropped out a bit ago <clears throat> for some reason it's not loading um right. I was only going to use steam to try and uh, go for the game but okay So once you have, to locate your game file, all you need to do is go into Steam, press on the little cog next to Elden Ring, properties, browse local files, local files, and then boom. <coughs> so you can obviously see. <coughs> now all you need to do is you need to drop the text file that you got from the art grand archives in the game folder and you also need to drop the cheat engine file and if you ever want to use cheat engine on Elden Ring you've got to load it here but obviously <clears throat> I don't have to load it there I will load it in with mod engine so that I can use mods it works the same What? Okay, come on. <clears throat> what is... Alright, I think... I don't know what's happening. My steam is, like, not wanting to run. Oh, this is really, it's really annoying because I don't know if I'm going to be able to play Elden Ring tomorrow. Um, okay. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh, I can still show you, just in a different way. So if we go to our folder, let's just load 
up cheat engine like we're actually playing the game. So first you just go and select Elden Ring. You press open on that. Then it's going to say, do you want to keep the alone line of code? You say yes. Then you're going to press on this, and it's going to you're going to press on the Grand Archives. And there's going to be a lot of things you can uh, go if you press scripts, then uh, builder, whatever it's called. You can add runes. I don't I don't know why my Steam is not loading. I lost my internet a bit ago, like a an hour or two ago. But for some reason, Steam just really does not want to load. Um, let me try and run as administrator. Nope. <clears throat> okay, well I can't show you too detailed, but you can do a lot of things. There are better guides out there, but this was just a quick guide. Um. So yeah. Uh. You, so there's a lot of things you can do, but. Obviously, I can't load the game up. Obviously, does not want to load. I could, maybe is it? I, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, something's going on. Yeah, I think if I close that Steam in Task Manager. Alright, I should be able to show you guys now. Uh, well, that was a, a, a detour. I don't know why. Oh, of course, I had to update Steam. Uh. So I'll do that. Let me just extract all these files first. <coughs> so, okay, that's got all my stuff. This is not really the best showcase of. Uh, this but okay Elden Ring's working now sorry I just had to fix that I'll just have to quickly uh what's it called <clears throat> I'll just have to quickly put Elden Ring on windowed if if in a million years it wants to decide to load there we go <clears throat> Okay, load, load. Oh. Okay, uh, is this on? Here we go. So obviously, <clears throat> I didn't load from that, but if you, I, if you use mods on Elden Ring, like my last video showed how to use mods, and you launch from, if you use the uh, mod engine t to load the stuff, it will <coughs> still work with Cheat Engine. So as you can see, I've got all hammer 40k stuff, um, armor from a mod. 
from Nexus Mods. And as you can see here, I've only got 4,000 runes. Now, I want more runes, right? So let's go select Elden Ring. It's going to say, do you want to keep the current address list? Yes. Open the Grand Archives. And as you can see, there's lots of stuff, as I said. But we're going to be focusing on the one that says scripts and event flags. Just as a tutorial. So scripts, build creation, and I'm going to add soul. So, as you can see, you can do this stuff. You're going to double click on the 500, and then you can change the amount to, let's say, I want 9,999 runes. Then we're going to give runes and watch over here, and you'll see I got the 9,999 runes. Or let's say I want to, and this is a bit more complicated, as you can see, you can choose your item, quantity, upgrade, ash of war, reinforcement. Then there's the mass item gifts, so you can give yourself all weapons, projectiles, all armor, all talismans, all ashes of war, all goods, all miss consumables, all craftings, all upgrades, all limited quantity stuff, you know, all that. And then there's also upgrades, need no materials, so you don't need materials to upgrade. There's unlock all regular gestures. Um, so let's say I wanted to give myself a dagger, and I want the dagger to have, um, spinning slash, but I want this dagger to be like a plus 10 or a plus 4 for Somba, and I want its upgrade to be fire. So now you're going to spawn item, and you can see I've got a fire dagger plus 10, and if we go have a look for it, there it is, fire dagger plus 10 with spinning slash, and as you can see, fire. And one last thing before I end this video is if you have a look, you can also, we're going to have a look at the event flags. Stuff like unlock all graces, all wet blades, all cookbooks, all maps, all summoning pools. So basically this is just all this stuff. So if you want to teleport somewhere, you can just unlock all graces and then boom, you can teleport wherever you want from the start of the game. Same with maps, so you can see where you're going. So yeah, that's going to be a short guide on how to use cheat engine. I know it wasn't the shortest guide because I had to fix Elden Ring. But I mean you do get to know how to fix Elden Ring if your Elden Ring ever breaks too. So, But that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.